Conserving forests can be a deadly job. In the Philippines, more than 100 land and environmental defenders have been killed in the last three years. And despite the dangers, the work of conservationists has become even more important as the climate crisis worsens. Buena Buena now reports. This portion of the mountains of Rizal province, east of the Philippines' capital, Manila, shows what 25 years of reforestation and conservation can bring. Known as the Masungi Geo Reserve, it's home to hundreds of documented species of flora and fauna now thriving on their own. Species in forest lands like this are interconnected. Over-extraction of one or more parts of the ecosystem degrades their natural habitats and food sources. Bringing it back to its original state takes years of caretaking. Other parts of the geo-reserve fall within a watershed, still undergoing reforestation and crucial to flood prevention in the capital region, Metro Manila. But in the Philippines, danger lurks for those defending forests and borders of protected watersheds against private interests. Those who do this work are often threatened with violence. This ranger station is where, at most, 10 forest rangers spend their nights when on duty. It's their home away from home, right at the foot of a reforestation area. But last July, two of the rangers here were injured by gunshots from an alleged environmental offender. It's incidents like these that make the Philippines Asia's most dangerous place for land defenders, according to environmental watchdog Global Witness. A bullet whizzing by wounded the head of forest ranger Melvin Ahmad that night. The attack left multiple bullet holes in their quarters. Forest ranger Kukan Maas was shot in the neck. Isa yung kinakatakutan ko na mamatay akong araw na yun. Yun yung pinakapuin po. Dahil bukod sa Ano yung nasintro yung leg ko. So hindi ako, hindi ako gaano makalingon ganyan kasi napakabigat ng leg ko na. Tapos nahihilo ako. Ang kinakatakutan ko, umumatay ako, paano yung anak ko? Malit pa lang. Malit pa lang yung anak ko. Kailangan ko ipaglaban yung sarili ko eh. The two rangers were eventually rescued. Stationed in the mountain months at a time, these forest rangers conduct patrols, plant trees, and provide witness testimonies in prosecutions, helping fight environmental crimes. The work they do becomes ever more crucial as the climate crisis worsens. Acting as carbon sinks, forests help mitigate the intensity of extreme weather events. Their degradation affects both urban and rural areas. Residents in low-lying urban areas of Riverside, Marikina City, preemptively evacuate each time authorities warn them of possible flooding due to rains. Strong rains for hours could mean deadly two-story high floods in this area. Prior to the pandemic, I visited this rural tribal community in Mindoro Island, south of Mandela, just after a typhoon hit their area. Members of the community said each typhoon season leaves their homes in ruins and their crops, their main source of livelihood and food, damaged. They have no choice but to grow new ones and wait for the next harvest season. Extreme weather events intensified by climate change give them little room to save up for the future, pushing them further down the economic ladder and limiting their children's chances for better lives. They are often the worst affected when nature is degraded, yet are often exploited due to their ancestral claims to the land. Ang pumipilit lang, madam, ngayon sa kasalukuyan niyo ang pagputol ng punong kaoy Kaya tuloy-tuloy ang paglislaid sa aming kabundukan. Kaya yung pusanay aming pinuprotektaan mula noon hanggang ngayon, pero binabaliwala yung aming salita. Climate change, biodiversity loss, and disaster mitigation cannot be tackled in isolation. If exploitative human activities at the root of these issues are not addressed, it will create 
an endless cycle of poverty and rebuilding for the country's most vulnerable. Buena Bernal, CNA, Luzon, Philippines.